Hello and welcome back to the Tim Foss YouTube channel and today you find me on Red Wharf Bay where the Land Rover Defender was first designed in 1947 on this very beach and this sand was where the Wilkes brothers kind of initiated the Land Rover. I've been lucky enough to come to Wales since I was a little boy and here I have my Land Rover on the very very beach where this amazing car was first designed and let's get into the video. Ever since I was young, I've been lucky enough to come to Anglesey every summer. It's been a home away from home, and it's where I first set eyes on the Land Rover. I used to see them launching boats into the sea, pulling cars out of soft sand, and even witnessed RNLI Land Rovers performing life-saving operations in the storms. I've always wanted to own my own piece of history, and in November 2020, I did just that. Today I've driven over 20,000 miles in eight countries with my Defender and now it's back to the place where this amazing machine was invented. Here in the sand of Red Wharf Bay on Anglesey in 1947 was where Morris Wilkes drew the first sketch of the Land Rover to show his brother. On this very beach started an idea that would produce one of the most iconic British motorcars. Every Land Rover is different, just like their owners, and I'm pleased to own my own small piece of this British motoring history with my Land Rover. actually so windy today so I hope you can hear me fine I've got my little microphone my little on the little wind thing I tell you what this beach is absolutely breathtaking I hope you like the footage that we put in we really had an amazing time filming that kind of I guess like mini documentary uh, style video it's nothing I've done before oh my goodness I'm nearly getting blown over by the wind so we're down here I guess like in the middle of the beach so the car park is all the way up there the sea is all the way down there on this beach in particular, the tide comes in quicker than you can walk because it is so flat. And on Anglesey, it's extremely tidal, as is the whole of the UK. Um, so we're cautious and watching the tide, but obviously we deliberately come here at low tide. Um, so yeah, the car sat here in all its glory, um, looking absolutely lovely. It's now a bit sandy, so it's going to get a good clean later. All the way down there is uh, down to Landudno, or Clandudno, as it's probably properly pronounced. I'm butchering every pronunciation, I apologize. And over there is an amazing pub at Red Wolf Bay. You can't drive there from here. Well, you can, but you do risk getting stuck. Um, and then, so you've got this amazing beach. Obviously, there's a lot of people out for dog walks, etc., which is fantastic. You've got the car park, as I said, up there, where I just came from uh, today. And yeah, this amazing beach. Just assessing the sand on the car. You see a lot of sand on the on the mud guards, but it actually looks quite cool, I think. And then look, you see these side mud flaps? There would be sand absolutely covering the side of the car. Right now, we just got a little bit where it's kind of flicked up off there. So these side mud guards are really doing their job and uh, yep, absolutely covered in sand. But don't worry, we're gonna give it a full wash after this. So it's all clean and ready to go. Obviously, it's just been wax oiled by Foley. So I don't want to, you know, ruin all the work they've done. So we need to give it a good, good wash. But now, Karina and I are gonna draw defenders in the sand and you are gonna vote who drew the best Defender. Sand drawing competition. Are you ready? Yeah. We're drawing with umbrellas. This is great. One second. I'm doing my artist tool up. All right. Three, two, one, go. Uh, down. Bear. Not sure whether I should do like a whole wheel or not. Okay. I've done a whole wheel. Okay. It's looking good. You should be jealous. Okay, that line's a bit wonky. Oh, it's good. Mine's good. You're done? Yeah. It's not a speed race. Oh my goodness. Oh, I've gone a bit extra here. Do I'm doing windows. Yeah, I saw hers and I'm doing windows now because I was jealous. Obviously mine's the 90. So it's just gonna have the door here. And then look, I'm gonna do a little line for her. Yeah, mine looks sick. Okay, right, getting the camera. This is Corrine's. What do we think? So she's gone with the the minimal approach. Do you have anything to say for your drawing? No? Okay, you like the original. Okay, so that's Corrine's. One vote. And then this is mine. 
Oh no, I need to get out of the way of the, the shadow. Oh no. Okay, this is mine without the, without the shadow. So obviously I've got a little bit more detail with a sidestep. Oh no, now I'm giving you the sales pitch. Okay, whose are we choosing? Oh, yours looks like the new one. We have option one, Corrine. Yeah. Option two, Tim. Comment in the comments, one or two. A little bit of fun uh, drawing Land Rovers in the sand while we've got my Land Rover out here behind me. I just think it's so, <laughs> it's so nice to stand in like such an iconic location for a car that I have wanted to own since I was literally a child. And I brought it up here to North Wales and onto this very beach. And it's just so beautiful. You know where Land Rover is taking the brand now, like with the Range Rover you saw from my previous video, you know, they don't want any mud on those kind of things. And these cars were built to go anywhere, do anything. And they've just become iconic because of that. When you think of other items that have had, you know, that kind of, um, that kind of legendary status, you know, like in the car world, like you know, the Ferraris winning races, etc., like that. This is a car that was designed for the everyday person, you know, the farmer, the fire truck, the ambulance, you know, the air rescue, as you saw in my, in my other videos. So it's just such an iconic car because it served so many people so well. And the design was almost, you know, similar S to the 911, you know, it didn't change too much over the years, but it was just refined and tweaked over that time. This car or cars like this, you know, are a dying breed a little bit. And hopefully there'll be other cars to come in the future that kind of take on this legendary status that the Land Rover and then the Land Rover Defender has had because they're just such fantastic cars. But the great thing is, is that now we get to look after them for the next generation. And you know, some people say, ah, oh, Tim, you know, your car's too much of a, you know, a pretty pony, you know, you, you don't know how to fix it, whatever, but I could learn to fix this but i don't need to because you know mine's been great and i look i look after it i really take care of my car because as i said it's something i've wanted my whole life for me no it isn't a tool that i need to go farming or to pull anything or you know to save lives in an ambulance but it's a car that i cherish and a car that i love and i'm so happy to be able to own one for one and be able to do amazing trips in it like bring it to this amazing beach here so while my car is here parked on this amazing beach, I thought we would take the opportunity to go and explore a little bit more of what Anglesey has to offer and take a look at one of my other absolute favourite places on my favourite island. What do you think of this for a parking space and a south stack? Got the Defender all the way on the rocks. Perfect. I am here at my, probably my favorite place on the whole of Anglesey. It is called South Stack and it is this absolutely amazingly beautiful lighthouse. Can you believe this lighthouse was built in 1809? <laughs> <laughs> That's over 210 years ago. It's absolutely ridiculous how old this, uh, this lighthouse is. And it's on these incredibly dramatic cliffs. So you kind of go along here. It's so busy today because of the bank holiday. But you go along here and then you climb down where you see these people over here. Uh, well, there they are over there. And there's 410 steps down and 410 back. And it's absolutely breathtaking. So as you are seeing the shots of the cliffs now, now the bridge that's down there that the people are using to cross over onto the lighthouse, um, that used to be a cable and a basket. Can you believe when the lighthouse first opened, people would go over that cliff with a cable and then a basket. It is absolutely crazy. The bridge was then updated. Uh, I think in the 1950s, and then it broke, and then they updated it again quite recently to this aluminium bridge. So hopefully it's safe now. I've only ever actually been up to the lighthouse once 
even though I've come here hundreds of times. And it's absolutely breathtaking. A great spot to eat a picnic over here and then kind of watch the sunset because the sun sets directly over the lighthouse. So it's absolutely stunning, uh, even though it's so windy today, but the sea is just a beautiful blue. And then you've got this fantastic, dramatic lighthouse, South Stack on Anglesey. So today, because the weather, although, as I said, extremely windy, the visibility is incredible. And you can see all the way down past Rosniger, and then you can see the mountains of Snowdonia in the background. And they go all the way out into the peninsula, where it's down to Abersock, and all the way down there on the other side. But I tell you what, Wales just has the most dramatic scenery. I absolutely love it. All right, so a little bit of history of South Stack and a lot of history about the Land Rover, which then became the Land Rover Defender. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope you liked all the footage. Any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.